Hey, my name is Amy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how my Chicago Marathon training is going. I can't believe the race is only a few weeks away. This training build has been long, but also short and a lot has happened. So I just wanted to share with you how my training has been going and any goals for the race and so on. So let's talk about Chicago Marathon training. So as I mentioned, the race is only a few weeks away. Right now, I am currently in tapering, which as you know, the taper crazy has not happened yet, but I'm sure I will go a little crazy soon. <laughs> It's almost been nice that it's been super busy recently that it's kind of distracted me of like how soon this marathon is. Don't get me wrong, I'm very nervous and it's been like at the back of my mind, but I'm also super, super excited. So in the build, I just did my last peak week. And of course, this summer or training build, all the storms seem to happen on the weekend. I don't know why, it just has happened that way. Unfortunately, we had a hurricane here the other day and that kind of ruined getting a run in that day as, you know, when I was younger, I might have gone out and gone for a run, but I was by myself and I just didn't want to be hit by like a tree or a tree branch falling as there was a lot of tree branches down and I just, yeah, just for me, it wasn't worth it. Maybe a little more cautious as I get older. So unfortunately, I missed a run, which isn't great in peak weeks, but I peaked at 113 kilometers. That's the most I ran in one week. And if you know me, I really love high mileage. And before I was pregnant and training, I think I peaked at 113. 30 or 140 in previous builds, I think before Boston. So 113 doesn't seem like a lot. However, I think it was the perfect amount for where I'm at currently in my fitness and just coming back postpartum. Okay, probably the hardest thing about this build is just coming back into fitness. Honestly, it's only been like the past few weeks into peak peak weeks that I felt kind of like my old self. I don't know, it just felt like it took a long time for me to feel like I could really hit paces and just do these big workouts and not crash and burn. Maybe I just had too high expectations for my comeback, but I don't know, I just thought I would be able to get back to fitness a lot sooner. But I guess if you think about it, you grow a baby for nine months and then not even just the baby part but afterwards like the lack of sleep and just like the stress of having this newborn baby and yeah again lack of sleep is really really hard and then I didn't run for a few months so that's obviously gonna take time to rebuild fitness from that and yeah just a lot of a lot of things. I'm hitting paces. I'm still probably five seconds off a kilometer that I would like to be in my fitness like for the race but at the same time, I'm really proud of how I've come back and just been able to juggle everything and been able to get some sort of fitness back. <laughs> Another hard thing is that while the summer was great because my husband was off because he's a school teacher, but now trying to juggle both of us running Chicago Marathon and both running the same exact mileage while also having a baby to take care of, it's quite tricky. In the past few weeks when we've both been back to work, I have like run out for like a 5K while when Liam got back from his run and then he left for work and then I would take Luke out for a stroller run and yeah, or run in the evening. So I'd have to split up a couple of my runs. I guess they were double runs, but they weren't both like huge runs. It equaled to both, I think 12 kilometers or 13 kilometers. So nothing major, but I just didn't want to take Luke out in the stroller that long. I just feel bad of him just like sitting there and you know, just chilling, but he's fine. But for me, it's just nice not to do the whole run with pushing the stroller. It's a workout for your upper body doing pushing a stroller, especially like up a hill. I would cheat and often just like walk up the hill and then start running. <laughs> but yeah, stroller running, it's fun. I'm really glad I had that option though because otherwise I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> It was also tricky this summer. We traveled for a little bit and you have to live life. Like we're not professional runners as even though we feel like or we act like we are, but 
we had to travel for a wedding and we went camping so there's just like a lot of things we had to like juggle around and I had to do a long run like on a Wednesday instead of a Saturday or Sunday and so I just feel like we were juggling a lot of things and trying not to let these plates or balls whatever fall on the ground and I think we did okay <laughs> maybe not a hard thing but an interesting thing is that I've been super thirsty like in general but also on my run so I've been every single run I've been taking a water bottle even if it's like a short run I just always want to have water that is because I'm breastfeeding but I just I don't know how that's gonna translate into the marathon I don't know like because there's only water stations every I think five kilometers I'm hoping that I'll be okay to last till then but yeah it's been a little interesting just being a little thirsty and I want to make sure that I keep drinking water so I don't know if I will take a handheld water bottle race day it's just kind of annoying to hold something so I'll keep you posted on what I decide to do but that's just something I've been thinking about. Another hard thing about this build is that I feel like I haven't had the proper time to do strength training and mobility. I feel like I would just get back from my run and just immediately feed Luke or have to take care of Luke and you know I, I should have made it more of a priority. I think I just felt overwhelmed of just trying to be the best mom I can and being present when I get home and I just I felt like I, it was just really hard to fit in mobility and strength. I struggled with that even before I had a baby, now it's just like so much harder. I know it would make a huge difference if I did more strength training and mobility, but just the thought of trying to squeeze more things into my day is just a little overwhelming. <laughs> but it is a priority and next build, I definitely want to be more aware of that. And I also just didn't want to overload my body, like running was a lot and especially coming back into fitness and then just doing strength training, I'd be so sore, so maybe I overdid it, but Anyways, excuses, excuses, but strength and mobility were kind of a little lower than my running uh, in priorities, so, and I felt it a bit, so, oops. <laughs> A few of my favorite things of this build is that we got to run together in the summer quite a bit. We did a few family stroller runs which was super fun and also when we were out west we uh, did we stayed with family and they watched Luke so we could go do our runs together which was awesome. I really really miss running with Liam and just also the time constraint like if we both like he goes for a run and then I go for a run that's like our whole entire morning so it's really nice just to get the run done and then we have the whole day to spend together with Luke so uh, it was just really nice to have that time with Liam. This build was great as I finally got to start running with my friends again. I was back to some sort of speed to hold on to them and it's just been nice not to do solo runs or just be at the very back when I was super pregnant. I'd just be like, hello, and I'm very far back, but now I can, you know, be in the midst of them. So that's really, really fun. Another favorite thing is I love running in the summer and I love my summer running clothes. And I'm gonna do a video shortly about my favorite running clothes summer edition, but I just, it was so nice to be able to fit into my clothes again. <laughs> Last year I was just like stealing all of Liam's running clothes and just feeling quite large so it's nice to be back to somewhat normal. Another favorite thing that I've been enjoying is that it's been fun doing the same kind of training as my husband and we've been doing the same distance and mileage this training build so we've been you know talking about that and just doing the same workouts so that's been really fun. We haven't lined up in a training build in a while so it's been really fun just sharing that together and being kind of in the same boat. I'm so excited to do this race with my husband even though I think we're in different corrals but just knowing he's there in the race running and running his own race and just will be there at the finish line just makes me so excited and so happy. We love talking about running and running shoes and yeah just talking about this race in both both getting excited for it and it's just yeah it's been really really special what I like to do getting close to a race is to reflect on my training and look back at all the workouts and just the runs and see how far I've come and also just all the hard work I have put into this training build. I was looking back also on my workouts and seeing which ones I felt really strong about and actually the last long run I did was 36 kilometers and it was this workout. It was 25 minutes at 5 seconds slower than marathon pace right into 25 minutes at marathon pace then right into 25 minutes at 5 seconds faster than marathon pace. So it was a long time, 75 minutes of straight running fairly fast. 
I was kind of initially like I started running I'm like oh my goodness how am I gonna hold this for this workout and a marathon in general but actually by the end it got easier or I was able to pick it up which I didn't think I was going to be able to do so that was a really big confidence booster yes my paces were a little here and there and I think it was there's a few headwinds that I ran into but that doesn't matter I am it was really good 36 so that what's a few more kilometers right <laughs> Another workout was six by five minutes at tempo pace. So uh, that was like sub four minute uh, kilometer for me. So that was really nice just to be able to hold on to that time. How about you? What have been some favorite workouts of yours recently? Let's share them in a comment below. fairly confident about the marathon. I mean, as confident as you can be about a marathon, it's kind of like this wild thing, untamable thing that even how you feel amazing, race day, something can happen. Like, it's just, it's one of my favorite things about the marathon is how unpredictable it can be. My training recently has been going well. I'm feeling strong. It's just, it's just hard to know because I don't feel like I have a super deep well of fitness, if that makes sense. Like, I've just been kind of like, Kind of scrambling back trying to get grasping at my old fitness and I just don't know like what's gonna happen under race day like under under pressure and just yeah what my body will do if I had asked this question maybe like a month ago I probably would have been like mm, mm, mm. but I'm feeling much better just I think peak weeks makes me feel more confident especially just like hitting some paces and getting the distance in and still feeling I mean I'm tired but like not completely destroyed so that's again just something that's been making me feel a little better I have many many goals for running starting this build in June I had an idea but I just didn't know like what I would be able to squeeze out by October now the dream would be to get 255 but again I'm just not sure what's gonna happen on race day that's like my a goal my B goal would be just to get a sub 3 on paper as I did a virtual sub 3 but races don't really like your virtual results so I really want to have that on paper otherwise it would be just to enjoy the race and finish that's you know, that's all you can do if the day is, you know, hot, windy, or you're just, or I'm just not feeling well. I think it's important to have an A, B, and C goal because then you never fail your goal. You just have to be realistic, like especially again, if weather is gonna be crazy hot, you just have to slow your paces, or if it's windy, you can't win against the wind. So just being a little flexible, of course I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna give my all, but also again, being realistic in what's gonna happen or just taking my paces a little slower. I just have to be willing to do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna blow up and, or risk blowing up, and that would be just miserable. Trust me, it's happened to me, and it was an awful race. I feel like once I'm done having kids, then I can really like get back to like getting super fast. I don't know, I think just this pregnancy took a lot out of me, and again, if I have another kid, that's gonna be just a whole another, another year of getting out of shape and back into shape and all that fun stuff, but totally worth it. Just, yeah, just goals and priorities are a little different right now, and that's okay. I'll do a video after Chicago and tell you how it all went and how I felt and goals for after Chicago, but I just wanted to catch you up on how our training or my training is going and how I've been feeling and goals and all that fun stuff. I hope you've enjoyed hearing my training update and if you are racing this fall, please let me know in a comment below. I'm always cheering for you. Let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see me do in particular and I hope training is going well and I'll see you next time. <laughs>